Here with Lime here, just bringing you guys this video about the fact of so many people are asking, how do I actually take my beam stream and send that to YouTube? Um, so basically this video is just gonna have a quick rundown on how to actually do that. It's fairly simple. The thing is you can't directly send your beam stream to YouTube itself. What you actually have to do is save it on beam and then you'll actually be able to download it from there. So first thing you wanna do is go to your beam account. Now, anytime you're streaming, there's actually a, a setting to make it so that every single time you stream, or it should be every single time you stream, your actual beam um, stream is actually saved onto your settings here. So what'll happen is, is go down to here. This is when you broadcast. And it says on there, keep recordings or VODs of my streams. You wanna make sure that's actually turned on, make sure you save it. Uh, I think automatically, I don't believe it's actually set on keep recording. So I could be wrong, but I don't think it actually is unless something's changed. So basically what you're going to do is just go to your video on demand folders. And what'll happen is every single time that you actually went ahead and streamed, it should actually have a copy in here. So VODs are generated every time you stream and will be kept for 14 days. Like I said, this should be from the Xbox uh, one console. Now I know sometimes I've actually had a few times where I've streamed and it doesn't actually keep my recording. I have no idea why. Um, also too, if you actually do your stream, what'll happen is, is that sometimes it'll come up here, but it will not be available to either watch or download. And obviously that's because of the uh, Beam is actually processing your video to make it available for it to watch and download too. So the thing is, all you're gonna actually do, this is the one I used last night. Um, as my example, I was just actually talking about some tips uh, for Beam streaming on Xbox One. So the thing is, I'm gonna actually go ahead and download this video just for an example here for you guys. So we're just gonna click on download. Now this here, you'll just have to ignore. I actually downloaded it, then I realized I messed up my video, so I'm actually downloading it a second time here. Once this is done, then I can actually go ahead and transfer that. If you know what your download folder is, or transfer it to an actual folder that you wanna use for your video. So it's not gonna take very long to download here. So what we'll do is go ahead, we'll show in folder. I'm just gonna go ahead and copy that. Actually, you know what, I'll actually cut it here. And then what I'm gonna do is go over to here, I'm gonna put it in a beam folder. So the video is not very big, and like I said, it's actually 720. We'll go to properties just to show you guys. Uh, details on it are 11 minutes, 35 seconds, 1280 by 70, or 1280 by 720. And the total bit rate is 2282. So it's not a high resolution, but it actually will do a, uh, you guys are stuck in a pinch and that's the only means that you actually have for your video. So 29 frames a second, you're not going to get 60 frames per second from the Xbox 360 con or not Xbox 360, but Xbox one console. It's just not going to happen. Um, unless you use something like OBS and you actually have a capture card, then you can actually push the frame rate up. And, then uh, that way, you know, you'll actually be, um, uploading directly to YouTube, but that's not the case. Um, like I said, this is this whole video tutorial is basically to talk about how you can take your Xbox One stream and then go ahead and download it after. So we do have it downloaded now. Now all you're gonna actually do is go to your account. So I'll just show you right here. Basically, this is my um my actual account on YouTube. I'm just gonna go ahead and upload. And that's it. We're gonna actually take that file and just drag it into there. Come on. We're gonna drag it into there. Now the thing is, is this is actually going to be a raw um, video basically. So whatever you actually sent on Beam, that's going to actually be your video. And the thing is, is that um, also too, if you've recorded for let's say half an hour and you only want five minutes of that video, obviously you're gonna to have to edit. Now, the thing is, is that you can go ahead and do an editor on your computer. That's gonna save you some time um, to basically just chop it up. It's an MP4 file. So, also too, if you guys want, I will actually do a tutorial on how you can actually um, do editing with your PC on free software, basically. Because um, Premiere Pro and stuff like that, this costs a lot of money. So if you don't have the money for that, then I'll actually talk about how you can do another software that's absolutely free that won't cost you any money. You can go ahead and cut it up and do other things with that on there. So we're actually just gonna go ahead and upload this. So just so I can show you guys now, um, because it's only going to save for 14 days, the thing is, is that if this is your only way, you don't want to process it, all you want to do is actually take it, download it, upload it back to YouTube, then basically you could actually just go ahead and do like a hundred of these. It wouldn't even matter. 
So instead of having this as public, let's say you just want to do it and you don't know for sure if you want to keep them up there or not, you can just go to Unlisted. Now YouTube actually has a video editor on there too. I've never actually used it, but I've seen other other people actually had talked about it, I believe. But like I said, I've, I've never actually used it myself. So you can actually just go ahead and put this as Unlisted. Then you can change your title, whatever you want to do. And I recommend at the time that you are um, actually uploading it like this, even if you're just going to have it up there and you're not necessarily going to use it, if you wanted to, you could actually go ahead and make your custom thumbnail while that video is actually fresh in your mind. And that way you know um, what your thumbnail actually has to apply. Because if not, you're going to have, you know, I don't know, 10, 15, 20, maybe 100 videos on YouTube, and you're not going to have any idea what that video was anymore. And then pretty soon, you're not going to actually even remember what the thumbnail should be, and you're going to actually have to go ahead and watch the whole thing so you can actually make a thumbnail for that. So like I said, I just want to show you guys the fact that um, that it is uploading on here. It's going to upload, and it's going to obviously process. And the thing is, this video is not going to be a live video. It's going to be unlisted so nobody else can actually even uh watch it or anything like that too um now like i said that's the biggest thing is the fact that if you've done a half hour segment then you will obviously have to have that half hour that you uploaded unless you go ahead and put it on your computer and sort of cut it up and then process it that way and then upload it that way so it shouldn't take too much longer to process um i'm also going to have a video coming out soon that's going to talk about um, how to change your account so if you're on the actual xbox one console and you go to set up on beam the thing is is that for that what will actually happen is it's going to make you an account but the thing is is that you've already had an account on beam and you have some followers then what's going to happen is is that you're going to sort of get stuck and what's going to happen is you're going to have to link your xbox uh one account or xbox live account i should say with your actual beam account and it's not very hard I'll actually do that in another video because this the the point of this video is basically just to talk about how you can actually go ahead and download that and re-upload it again. Like I said, there is no way to actually transfer to YouTube at the moment. It's possible maybe somebody will actually make a uh, transfer utility in the future. We'll have to wait and see if that actually happens or not. But like I said, this is the easiest way to do it. And like I said, it's not a big humongous file. So as long as you don't have, you know, um your internet's not crawling for speed basically then you should be fine to actually go ahead and do it this way and like i said if there's actually a question that you guys have on beam um just send it to me put it in the comments below and i'll actually try and answer sometimes i don't get to my comments right away but i will try and answer it as soon as possible and if I, if if possible i'll actually go ahead and make a video for you guys too if it's actually necessary to do that so it's just about done here it's actually just processing at 95%. So all I want to actually do is I'm just going to show you guys that it's actually up on YouTube. And then that way you can actually see the quality of it too. Like I said, it's not perfect. Um, I actually even tried downloading a video and not downloading, but I actually beamed or I should say streamed a video to beam. I had it on regular and then I had it on high settings and I actually didn't even notice the difference. None of those on Xbox were actually any different at all so i have no idea what the difference is between the two settings so i'm just going to go ahead and save changes here and it'll actually be live too like i said it's actually unlisted so it's actually right here so we're just going to go ahead go ahead and copy and paste and we'll hit enter should have did paste and go i guess and there we go 11 minutes and 35 seconds now this setting too for here is only going to show that at a 360 right now because uh, YouTube is actually still processing it. So it's not going to be actually all that great for the time being. But the thing is, is that we can actually open it up here. Like I said, it's only shown at 360. So um, I'll just edit this video maybe a little bit or something. Let's go ahead and pause this. I'll let this process a little bit. I'll go ahead and edit this video just so you guys can actually see the quality once it reaches 720. Okay, so now the actual settings are on 720. Like I said, 720, 30 frames a second. So I'm just going to go ahead and open this up. Obviously, it's not going to be a full page because with it not being uh, a full, you know, 1080p, it's not going to actually look that great full screen. 
but this is basically what the what the quality is and actually i'll go ahead and put it full screen just so you guys can actually see it here it's not terrible it's just the fact that it will actually have some blur in it we'll actually get into a match here somewhere hopefully try and get some action going just so you guys can see it like i said it's not terrible um but it's not the best quality but it will actually work for you if you're actually trying to get um you know if that's your only means to actually go ahead and upload it to youtube so anyways i hope this video was helpful for you guys um so leave a like a comment subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and like i said if you have a question about beam just go ahead and paste it down in the comments below and i'll actually try and answer that the best i can and i'll get to it as soon as possible too so anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video and we will talk to you later so bye for now